In this WordPress tutorial, I'm going to go over how to change the personalized settings for your site. So again, I'm back in my dashboard here, and I'm going to click on my settings. And you really want to change your settings. Uh, you can change the name of your blog, your site, uh, add personal information about yourselves, change the privacy of your site if you don't want certain people to see your site. Um, so anyway, we're going to go on here and click on general. This is the first one you want to do. And here you can change the name of your site. So it's CWDHS Web. I'm going to rename this my first site. The tagline will appear at the top of your site. So if I go back to what my site looks like, it says just another WordPress.com site. I don't really like that. Uh, I, I can actually just keep that blank. This is my email address. I can change the time zone. So I could type in here TOR. Oh, they have Toronto. Toronto time. The date format and the language. So you can do lots of different things here. You can upload a picture uh, of yourself, uh, letting people know what you look like. So when they visit your blog and they're looking for your site, uh, your picture will pop up or any kind of image there. I can click on Save Changes. And what will that do? If I go back to my site and I hit Refresh, and now it says My First Site, and that tagline there is gone. If you like the tagline, you can type it back in. I can go back to my general settings. Again, under settings, you can click on writing, reading. What happens if I click on writing? This will just change what it looks like when you're typing your posts. So for instance, uh, if you don't like how wide or how high your post area is to type, you can change it there. You can default, you, can, you don't need to worry about these categories here. And press this is a little bit more complex. You can read about that on your own time. Reading, this is an important page if you want your home page to not be like a blog. So if you look at my first site, all my blog posts will appear here, all my posts will appear here on my home page. But let's say I want it on a different page. Well, you can change this in your reading settings. For instance, you could make, uh, I could make the front page the about information and the post page could be something else. Okay and you can change the number of posts. So this is really nice if you don't want your site to look like a blog, you can make something else your home page. So the front page uh, is what they mean by your home page. I could click that. Now if I refresh my site, my home site tells them uh, goes right to my about page. Okay, so I don't even have my blog stuff up right now. Okay. So you can go through these other settings. Uh, again, the privacy settings, you want your site to be private. So let's say uh, you're teaching an elementary class. You don't want all the kids' information out there. You can click on, I would like my site to be private. Visit, visible only to choosers I use. I can click that. And you can invite 35 users. So I think you can add their email addresses. Yeah, so you can type in their email addresses here and save it there. And it keeps track of who you've invited. Okay. Again, I don't really want that. I'm going to go back to my settings, go back to privacy. And I want mine public again. So if you have time, you can go through here and just read up on all the different things you can change. You can change the discussions as well. If you don't want comments to be posted on your site, you can tweak these comment settings. Um, it's a good idea to have comments so we can get instant feedback about what you're doing or if you've made a mistake. I've often had that happen from students. Uh, they correct something that I've posted. So it might be a good idea to keep comments. Of course, you could make it so that not any random person can comment. Someone with an account in WordPress can comment. So you can change that through these settings. So it's a good idea to go through the settings um, and personalize your site. And it's fairly easy to do right from your dashboard.